My name is Dorothy Muir and I'm a National Engagement Manager here at Brain in Hand. I'm just going to ask my colleague to introduce herself. Hello, I'm Dor Makinson. I'm one of the Senior Engagement Managers at Brain in Hand. Today we're going to be talking to you about how hybrid digital support tools can help transition from education to work. Thousands of people are already using a blend of app technology with provision of human support to optimise support and independence. Why is this important? Recent parliamentary research briefings indicate that the employment rate for disabled people is 28% less than that for non-disabled and disabled students face far more barriers to transition to work. For example, they may be unable to access the work experience that many employers want. For some neurodivergent people, people with short term memory issues, anxiety, travel fears, hybrid technology support can be a key enabler. So any tools that support an ease transition are significant. Preparing students to cope with the demands of the workplace is an important task for higher education in order to help students to adjust more easily to the dynamic labour market. It, transition is a process rather than a single event, with some students taking longer than others to find what they want to do and to get a job and be successful in it. So now let us look at some key considerations when thinking about transition. Transition isn't linear. When supporting students through transition, we need to consider the different life and work experiences they have. For example, some students may have never worked before and others may have part time jobs or worked as part of their university course. This means that students will have different knowledge, expectations and an understanding of what work life is like. Furthermore, it is important that students know what choices they have. For example, part time, full time, a year out, voluntary work. Um, and there might be a gap between leaving university and getting a job. It, it has to be person centred. It's so important to support the student to develop key competencies, which will mean that not only can they have a good chance of getting a job, but have the capabilities to sustain it. Don't forget that students have been used to attending lectures and self-study, which may not utilise all of their working week and time management might be something they have to work on. Transition needs to be informative. It is important that students know what they're actually applying for and what the job entails. With little context, this can be difficult for the student. The language and terminology can be extremely confusing as it can mean different things in different contexts and environments. And this will need to be explained and not assumed that the student understands. Students should be encouraged to utilise the skills and knowledge of people such as their university careers advisors, members of their support team and personal tutors to help them. Hybrid digital support, which is that balance of human support and technology, can help on, with a student's transition uh, journey. And Dorothy will now explain why and how. What do we mean by hybrid digital support and the balance of human tech? The slide shows the different strengths of each uh, component. It's really about seeing technology not as an end in itself, but as an enabler. And there needs to be a balance between human aspects of support and digital, with the best solutions drawing on both. Hybrid solutions are constantly looking at getting that balance right. A fully digital solution to support transition is certainly cheaper and more scalable, but we know from some NHS studies that adherence to standalone digital tools without other human support can be low. However, digital tools can do things that human intervention simply can't replicate. For, for example, it can provide users with mood monitoring data on a significant scale and provide data timelines which support reflection, an essential skill for self-management and perhaps for transition. For new environments encountered in transition, it's really useful in establishing and reinforcing routines and positive behaviours. Digital elements can help perform repetitive, daily, time-consuming tasks, preparation and travel for work, reminders about bringing necessary equipment and discrete reminders or prompts for office protocols. Data from these tools provides the person and anyone they choose to share with, that could be a coach, mentor or work manager, 
added value of in-depth data analysis, which can really be helped help progress work plans. It can help identify, for example, patterns in stress, which activities, which time of day or day of the week are particularly stressful for the individual and therefore support adaptations. But it's a combination of the digital and the human intervention, which must be bespoke, paced and user led that really enables a person to flourish and grow towards independence. The human element in particular is crucial in helping review progress, update input into digital tools and make sure that there's a full and ongoing conversation about transition. A holistic view of transition is really significant, seeing the whole person, not just the school, university or work placement. By its 24 hour nature, digital hybrid support can reflect and affect every environment that impacts on a person's success in transition. So although strategies may focus on work or study locations, the skills and confidence translate to every environment the person finds themselves in. We've looked at problems data, which was input from over 100 users of hybrid digital technology over a 12 month period, a total of over 400,000 data records. 13 key areas of problems were identified, as the slide indicates. What's interesting about analysing the data points is the sheer number of stressors for individuals with anxiety based health issues or who are neurodivergent, barriers that they confront in their everyday lives and particularly in transition from regulating emotions to basic self-care, getting on a bus, talking to others. There's not one aspect of everyday living that's anxiety free for many students transitioning. The second observation on this slide is that the small but practical granular strategies that can be developed to self-manage and support successful transition. Strategies like how to start a conversation in the office or engage in small talk, remembering to eat at work, managing time and priorities. Everyday practical problems can feel overwhelming in transition, but a person can be very well supported by hybrid digital technology. So now let's look at one student's experience of transition. The student was struggling at university with peer interactions, particularly out of lectures, and this was negatively impacting on her overall well-being and confidence. She had a lot of self-doubt, particularly off campus, for example, going to the shops or on nights out with her peers. This led to some risky behaviour, which put her in vulnerable situations and eventually leading to self-isolation. So the student was recommended hybrid digital support to help her build confidence in the skills and knowledge she already had to build on them to use more frequently on and away from the university campus. By the time she was near to leaving university, socialising with her peers had much improved along with her confidence and self-esteem. The next phase in her life was to preparing to leave university and getting work ready. Doubt set in her mind about meeting new people and going for job interviews. Using her hybrid digital support helped her to realise that she already had many skills and strategies to cope in a variety of situations. And with someone linked to the digital support, she began to explore transferable skills to use in life away from university. So let's think about preparation for work. Remembering and utilising skills learnt at university through using the hybrid digital support enabled the student to feel confident attending job interviews and use this to help her reflect on what went well and not so well during the interviews she had attended. Finally, she got a job in a fast food train and loved the fast pace environment. She loved that she had routine and knew what to expect each day. She even began to manage unexpected situations involving customers. She felt supported by her job coach, employer and colleagues and used her hybrid digital support to help her remember what tasks she had to do and any changes she needed to make. It also was used initially as a way for her to reflect on her day with her job coach. She told me that her hybrid digital support helped her to successfully manage new work challenges, which in the past would have caused her so much anxiety that she probably wouldn't have been able to cope with work life. I now invite you to watch a video of a student speaking about 
how he uses hybrid digital support with his job coach and has successfully transitioned into an internship. It's really important that learners get uh, the essential experience that they need to be successful in the workplace. We work with some very high profile employers that also are committed to ensuring that learners are successful. Brain in Hand helps us in developing the resilience within learners so that they can cope in the workplace, helping them to relax knowing that they have the support to help them get through the working day. Brain in Hand is an app-based support tool. It enables individuals to uh, overcome those points where they might become anxious and um, effectively spin out of control. I'm Curtis is job coach and I've been helping him on his internship. I've been working with him in his workplace, breaking down tasks and we've also learnt to use Brain in Hand together. When he first started his internship he was very nervous, uncomfortable and needed to speak to people at regular intervals to give him reassurance and since Brain in Hand he stopped using that. So he's come a very long way in a short space of time. She using brain in hand, my anxiety come down a lot. I feel more confident in myself. I believe I can do a lot more on my own and need that support from people around me. So since Curtis has used brain in hand, I feel like he's better equipped to deal with the next steps than he would have been. He's um, able to cope with the thought of leaving the place, leaving Harrowwood College and moving on to something new without his job coach's support. So I feel it is built with his confidence to the point where he doesn't need me and I'm no longer, I'm redundant. Harriet's been using Brain in Hand to help her manage um, with her different anxieties and coping strategies. We've worked alongside Brain in Hand to find uh, program that suits her. I, I think that Brain in Hand is, is a really good app because it supports young people with disabilities um, into independence in all areas so as well as at home I also use it at college as well and when I'm out in public. Um, I've now got myself a paid job 20 hours a week at a hotel. Before I didn't know about Brain in Hand I would have relied on my parents or my or a staff at Harrowwood but since I've had the brain in hand, I know that the app is kind of my friend in a way. Uh, from a Herald perspective, we found brain in hand to be particularly useful when a young person makes the transition from Herald to the next phase of their life. At some point, Herald support will, will stop and uh, as an organisation, we get to like our students and want to, you know, for them to achieve their level best. So having a technology that they've developed and gotten used to within the organisation and will continue to use when they leave has enabled us to, to some extent, uh, continue to support them beyond the auspices of the organisation. Um, students and, and young people will feel as if they've got an anchor when they leave the organisation and move into the next phase of their life and I think that can't be a bad thing. Thank you for listening to Dorothy and I and we hope you have found the presentation interesting. Please do contact us if you would like further information. Also, don't forget to sign up for our goodie bag where you will receive student and supporter guides and access to our free demo account. Thank you.